Hello and welcome back to QB Factorium. In our last episode, we continued our work here on the final island. We started setting up some cooking, and uh, someone made a comment that I should use green or I could use greenhouses to grow the stuff that is here instead of importing it all. And they are, I believe, correct. So let's go to greenhouse here, and let's just start. Um, we could automate them. I want to automate them into. We could. We just start here, I think. Yeah, and then we can do these. And then we can do these. Like that. And we can grow whatever we want here. And we seem to be using a lot of, I think, probably wheat. Um, maybe uh, tomatoes. Although maybe not. No, we can grow whatever we want. Let's just grow some wheat here. Why not? So let's stop importing wheat. Uh, so un nope. Oh, we're not importing wheat. Uh, stop importing tomatoes. We'll grow tomatoes instead. Tomato plant. There we are. So then you should accept tomatoes now. Not wheat. And then this will import or carry over to there. And that'll be fine. So that's how you that's how you set up a greenhouse anyway. Uh, let's also. Oh, we have power issues. Why do we have power issues again? Oh, that's why. Okay. Because somebody didn't allow that. Yeah, I know. Low energy. We'll get there. Don't worry. Uh, let's do a power pole over here. Just kind of keep... That's too far. Uh -huh. There. There we go. Just to keep things moving along. We're still importing milk, but uh, that's a little bit harder to come by. I don't think you can ranch in a greenhouse. So we'll still have to import um, milk and uh, maybe other things, but we can definitely greenhouse some things. There's no reason why we can't. Still power issue. Why power issue? Just because we haven't built it up yet. Okay. We're still waiting for it to kind of charge up a little, I guess. Yeah, you don't have any stored energy, so it's kind of still buffering the energy. Until we can get this going, though. Oh, there's enough, at least. Hopefully. Oh, we are, we're, we're also uh, mining oil over here. Pumping oil over here somewhere, too. That's right, over here. Okay. Hopefully... This power plant will keep up. If not, we can always build another one right here, though. Maybe we should just do that. Let's just do that. Uh, that's going to be a problem, though. Because it's not positioned correctly. Can I do it over here and just not worry about this stuff? Yes, I can. There we go. And then you can just build that and then take care of that. And we can take care of this carbonate whenever we need to. If we need to, although I don't think we will. Because we have lots of carbonate. Okay, so. Back to whatever it was we were doing before. Uh, that was... Uh, we need to get to these, uh, extractors. Uh, let's see. Built using those things produces the extract. Let's go ahead and build one of these. I don't remember how these work, so we definitely need to look at how to build one. Uh, we can just go over there for this one. I'll probably delete it and move it. Uh, these need... Oh, boy. Good stuff. Oh, the air ones need are the hard ones. They did all those things. Stone blocks and bricks aren't too bad. Did we set up brick smelting? I don't think we did. I don't think we did. We did not. Okay. Uh, kiln. Alright. Let's go. If I do this right. One, two, three, four. Let's go over one more there. I can put in one of these here. I can make bricks, put in one of these here, and then I can belt from here, like this, to there, and then we can do one, 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 and one, one. All right, build it. If you build it, they will come. All right, so we have energy now, at least. 
Uh, stored energy is full. Okay, good. So we have we have two power plants. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Uh, we could use some more copper and or gold. You here. Do that. Should probably do some more expansion as well. You there. There. Here and there. And let's do this. Eight of that. Be here. Eight of this. And maybe over here. Eight of this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, not that one. This one. Did I do the right one here? I did. Great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why are those in a different order? I mean, it doesn't matter now, but... Ooh. Revealed. Uh, let's do just a big old swath of this. Let's see what we find. Nothing up there to get, nothing there to get. Deconstruct some of this stuff over here. They can deliver it over to this one, that's fine, I guess. How are we doing on goods? Goods. Okay, so elemental extractor. Uh, we probably don't want to start with the air one then. Uh, the earth one won't be too bad. Fire one won't be too bad. Water one won't be too bad. Spirit one requires the four of the above. So let's start with earth. It's also the first one here. So we'll start with earth extract. Uh, but maybe we should move these out a little bit like Maybe over here or something. So let's um, alt-click that. Uh, I want to make sure I make this with enough room. And then they need to have all kinds of uh, Zeppelin depots, probably. Uh, only one... Actually, this one only needs two. Because it only has two items. We'll do that, and then this... This. Okay. And then you're going to need. Does it need to have. Come here. Three of each, right? Okay. So we need to do. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nope. That down wrong. There. Uh, and this is a depot entrance. Uh, we need to run power up there. Power up there, though. That'll do for now. Okay, so we need to have. Stone bricks and bricks. Are we automating stone bricks yet? We may not actually be automating stone bricks because we hadn't needed them yet. We are not. So that's a basic. No, that's blanks. Uh, stone. Stone cutter. There we go. Uh, did I have stone even going to a place? No, I guess I don't. This doesn't really matter where this one goes, then. I can just wedge it in here someplace. We'll put it right in here. Let's go here. Input. Output. Wasn't even close. Alright, so this will take st uh, rocks, and this will take or er, make stone bricks. Um, charcoal. 
No, not charcoal. Uh, bricks, not... Yeah. Uh, I forgot to bring clay in here. We need to bring clay in from all the different places here. And then we can bring stone into this one, or rocks into this one, rather. Are we still making wood? Yes, we are. Okay, good. Good for the wood. And then this needs to be bricks. Sure. And this needs to be stone bricks. Oops, misclicked. There. Uh, you need to take those, though. And then they should be zeppelining over. Uh, let's do some drones instead of zeppelins. We'll tear down the zeppelin things eventually. I think I'm just going to put them out of the way. Like over here or something. A couple of those. What do those take again? Biomaterial and fabric and high-tech parts. Okay. We have a decent amount of each yet. As of yet. We should see those whizzing around here shortly. As they get it built course. So we have an earth extract. We need to upgrade the Terra Shrine. This is the portal. Uh, where's the Terra Shrine at? Oh, that's over here. That needs three earth extracts and an, an, or an earth extract and an integrated circuit. So let's upgrade the Terra Shrine. Maybe I should have built that near this. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. But we'll see what it does. Before I build any more of these, I'm going to see what that does. Because I may end up moving this. Got lots of tomatoes. What are we making here? Croissant. They need wheat and butter. Okay, they should be able to make those. They are. Okay. Well, there's a couple. There is a couple. All right, you're working on that. What do you got? So this. Nice. We managed to restore the terrace shrine back to its former glory. What an impressive monument! It looks stable and solid, just like the roots of a giant tree. Our makeshift extracts seem to be working. The shrine is starting to breathe life again. Let's continue supplying with extracts and see what happens. So, I don't know what a charge is. I don't know what a charge is. But, let's do this. Oh, those are big. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Let's do this, although I guess I could have got it from a closer one. There. And this. And then we go out to here. So it doesn't really, I guess it doesn't matter distance because... We have all the distance in the world with the zeppelins and the uh, drones. We can find the drones up around. Here's some drones. I'm just uh, hovering around right now. There's anything for them to do. Not much for them to do, anyway. Oh, we have... Oh, oops. Forgot to do that. Zeppelin should be zipping on over here. Or the drones, one or the other. 
Drones and the Zeppelin. You see how much faster the drones are than the Zeppelins? Need to retire the uh, Zeppelins. Where are you carrying that wood from? No idea. Oh, I'm I'm having them shuffle it down. That's right. Okay, never mind. Okay, so what did this do? Producing a charge. I don't know what a charge is. Though. Oh, building charge, 7 to 20. Okay, 7 out of 20. Okay, so let's uh, see where the... Uh, what the next one is we want to build. We want to skip air for now. Uh, fire is good. Let's go to fire. Uh, that one's way up here. Yeah, we could do this up there. Uh, let's put a... Put one of these next to it, right like that. And then we'll do one of these. And then fire needs charcoal and wooden parts. Let's, um... That's actually fine. Do that. Oh, strange. I feel like the shrine is communicating with me. She takes off her shoes and crouches to touch the dirt. My feet feel like the roots in the soil. My body feels heavy, but in a pleasant way. I feel connected to the ground and my surroundings. What a feeling it is to be in this body. I feel like I'm really here for the first time. I imagine this is what animals must feel like in a way. It's just that humans have forgotten how to be in the world, to be really present and in the moment. We are so busy thinking about the future and the past, but none of those really exist. She touches the cool stones of the shrine. Oh, this is real. These stones have been here since time immemorial and will still stand long after we are gone. Our ancestors have walked this earth long before our time. They give us our strength. They are our roots. They have brought us here and they grant us this gift of earthly experience. She picks up some seeds scattered on the ground. These plants, these seeds, they live on not as individuals, but as species. They give their lives to the next one and the next ones do the same. She takes a deep breath of the earthy smell in the air, an eternal cycle of death and rebirth. A living being dies and returns to the ground where it came from, sustaining with its death the possibility of, possibility of new life. Everything on earth get, lives in a large-scale symbiosis. Everything balances and completes each other. The universe is in a state of perfect harmony. It is an eternal cosmic dance. She sits down and spends a moment in silence. I didn't expect this. All these insights, I never had them before, and yet they seem strangely familiar. Let's see what the others find. Now that this shrine is activated, we are one step closer to find the ancient secret. Alright, back to what we were doing. <laughs> that was a lot of a lot of dialogue there for me. Especially in an accent and female voice. I run power up here. Uh, what was it again? Charcoal and wooden parts. I don't know if we have wooden parts being made either. I don't think we have those automated. Uh, charcoal, though, we can go ahead and get that started. Zip on up there when the time comes. A basic workshop. See, wooden parts, wooden boards, stone blocks, and wheat. Okay, what we have, we aren't growing wheat. Let's uh, let's grow wheat. Uh, let's do it like this. Yeah. Uh, we already have stone. Uh, we just need to have one of these out. that and then wooden boards we are making also and then you know what actually I'm going to do it like this and then we do these and then we need power So we'll go with stone to there, uh, wheat to 
there, and wooden boards to there. That should make those things. Uh, we should have this thing probably... F nope. Uh, charcoal. We can go ahead. And then we have wooden parts to go here, and you can go there. And just to save myself a little bit of time, let's, um... Do this, too. Actually, do that. We don't need stone? Did we really eat through all the stone? Wow. I mean, we can mine this mountain. And we can also expand our terrain a little. Uh, I guess you would go here-ish. Oh, right there, but it won't go there, so we're just going to go right next to it. That'll be fine. We're at the edge of the map anyway. Uh, you'll go there. Where you came from. I think you go right there. What's wrong with the bricks? No clay. Yeah, we're out of clay. Okay. That's fine. We made enough earth ones anyway, I think, to get the thing charged. Yeah, plenty. Okay, let's, uh, this is the fire one? No, that's the air shrine. Uh, Ignis shrine. Over here, right, duh. Uh, upgrade, please. And then we can go ahead and put in one of these for later. So the next one we should set up is water. Which is way over here. Okay. Oh, we didn't clear that up. And we need to put out another fire here or two. Um, right there would be good. I think that covers the rest of the land. Ah, the Ignis Shrine at last. This monument has got quite a unique layout. It is possible to access it from any side. It seems the shrine still needs to be charged up. I can't wait to see what will happen. We're charging it. I actually let them pick... We do that one as none. And that one can go. And then this will stop for a minute while they come and pick this up. Hopefully. Hopefully. And I can turn this back on. Somebody? Let's see if it's got... No. Can somebody come and pick it up? Or do we not care? I guess we can just not care. Okay. Back down here now. Uh, we cleared this all up? Oh yeah, it didn't take long. But I missed some. Oh, because that was where the fire was. Or it was not. Yeah, whatever. Uh, one of these. Oh, this is a bad spot though, so I'm going to put it not here. Strange. Now that I'm approaching the shrine, I feel warm despite the icy landscape surrounding me. I can feel heat radiating towards me. It takes a deep breath. Yeah, it smells like something is burning. It smells like firewood, or maybe like incense. He lifts his hands and hand and places it on his chest. This heat, it comes from me. I never felt it before. Was it always there? Actually, I remember this heat from times when I was really motivated, 
or when there was something I felt passionate about. Only at this time, it's so much stronger. It feels like I'm somehow connecting to the source of this immense energy. It's intense and quite difficult to control. All this energy makes me feel invincible. I feel like I can do anything. I can achieve everything I desire. Ashes are floating in the air, but at the same time, this fire burning inside of me could consume me. It is so much stronger than me, it could drive me insane. He feels anger rising up inside him. I feel like the fire wants to take over. I feel how dangerous it is. It can blind me, even corrupt my soul. It can become an unstoppable force and destroy everything. It can lead me to the greatest achievements or to chaos and ruin. I must not let it happen. But how can I can control it? Do I even want to? When is it? When it is the key to so much potential? I have to direct this immense energy towards things I love. Things that I know are right. This fire doesn't have a will of its own. I need to channel it, guide it through my will. His excitement gives way to a deep calmness. Yes, that's it. Now the energy feels more harmonious and less chaotic. And it feels endless, like I could keep doing things without ever stopping. The ashes disperse and the sun reappears. It feels somehow majestic to stand in this glorious ray of sunlight. All right, I'm cooling down now. That was really quite an experience. Okay. Uh, let's go right about there, I think. Somehow you didn't clear a few trees and stuff here. Don't know how that worked, but okay. Uh, this is going to be water. Yeah. Water. Uh, oil and beer. Do, are we making beer? Brewing beer. We're brewing tea. Okay, we need to start brewing beer. Uh, which means we need to have something else growing. Beer takes water and barley. All right, well, let's grow some barley here. Do a couple of small stockpiles like this, like we did the other stuff. Uh, barley will go to here and into there. And water will go over to there and into there, and then you'll go out. Uh, let's grab the boat and unload the barley. Whatever barley we might have. And water is a problem. Wait, why is water not carrying over here? Dumb. How did I manage to not do that? Okay, where are my zeppelins at? I need to delete them and replace them with uh, drones, I think. Two. I don't remember. There's one here. We only have the one. That could be why they were so slow, too. Mm hmm. Alrighty. Alright, so that's beer. Uh, and oil, I think it was. Let's do... Wait, why are these not working? Because I never set them up. Oopsie. Okay. Uh, beer. Oil. And... Output. Nope, that's backwards. I guess I should have output the beer into a Zeppelin station since they need to carry it over there. That was dumb. Hmm. Let's bomb that. Expand this one this way. Like that. I'm going to put in one of these right here. You will output to that. You will take beer. 
And then you will fly the beer over here. And oil here. And we'll be ready to go for that one once we have everything up and running. Uh, you need power as well. That would be helpful. There we go. Uh, you need to accept the beer. You need to accept the oil. And here we go. Oh, here's another one. We did have two. Okay, we can upgrade this now. And yeah, the air extract was the complicated one. That needs four different things. One of the uh, three machine parts and one of each of the other ones. And the air shrine is over here, so we'll just build this over there somewhere. Over here. There it is. You can the shrine in the west appears or seems to be the aqua shrine. It is a really graceful structure, like a big vessel filled with water. It's beautiful to see it come alive like this, gushing with the water. Let's see what happens when we rejuvenate it with more extracts. Let's see, indeed. Uh, let's do... this should be... F I think there. There. One on this side, just for sanity's sake. Uh, one here, one here, and one there. That does that is working, right? The corner thing. We're just waiting on boards. Oh, we don't have any logs. Wait a minute. We used all the logs too. No, we have some here. They just can't get there because I don't have them linked properly. Uh, wait. Where are we going? You, you here. Also here. And that'll be fine once that gets moving. Okay, good. Uh, we can also destroy some of this stuff. Go there. 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 That should probably finish us up. Double check it, but I think so. You have plenty of iron. Ridiculous amounts, actually. Uh, let's bring power way out here. That's the only problem is I had to bring power out, but. Uh, let's see. We'll go across here. That's fine. There. 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 And then we'll just cut right into there. Okay, one ones. Boom, boom, boom. Do, 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 and do. And you need to be air extract. Now let's see, three machine parts. Do we make those yet here? No, we didn't make any of that stuff. Okay, let's do um, the machine shop? Slot machine, ooh. Um, metal? That's what it is. Yep. Okay, we're just gonna make these out here in the open. Uh, machine parts, copper coils, and ingots? Wait a minute. I'll make it integrated circuits with the copper coils already. Okay. Uh, we should probably then make copper coils. Uh, we can do those like... Almost like that. Like 
that. Input intermediary. Wait. Not exactly. Uh like that, I think. This will be copper coils. This will be machine parts. Uh wait. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, it's one of each. So we'll just do like that. Iron ingots can fly into here, and we'll output those here. Uh, let's do one ones. Much one copper. Okay, and it's one copper coil, one iron. Copper goes he here. Iron goes here. And then that'll be machine parts. And then those can fly over here to the single one. And then this side needs to have high-tech building parts. We have those. I don't know if we have them being made. Actually, I know we don't have them being made. Those take steel beams, refined wooden parts, and crushed vanadium. Okay, we need to make the refined wooden parts then next. Uh, those are made in one of these. Wooden parts, iron ingots, and copper ingots. I'm gonna change. Changing things. Put this one on this side. Like that. Delete, delete. Delete that. Uh, one of these goes... No, like that. There. There. And you are these. Uh, refined wooden parts needs... Wooden parts, the copper... Okay. Uh, you can go here. You can go here. You can be a uh, wooden part. Your iron. Uh, wooden parts are here. There can be an output there. We can do a conveyor belt that goes like this to there. And this will be here, there, and there, and there, and there. We're gonna have to grow some trees, I think. Um, because we're gonna run out. Let's see. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, grove. Did I do the automated groves or not? I'm not gonna bother. I'm just gonna do the regular groves. Uh, let's go right here. Like that. This will be the only kind of tree we can grow here. Black spruce. I'm going to put those into a zeppelin, though. I'll put that way, please. We'll deal with that later. Did I not link those? I guess I didn't. Uh, then it was refined wooden parts, which we're working on now. Oh. Haha. Ha. Guess you need that, huh? Those go... One of these. Doesn't matter which one. And then high-tech building parts and integrated circuits. We have integrated circuits ready. Uh, they're here. And then high-tech building parts need one of these machines as well. And they were steel beams, refined wooden parts, and crushed vanadium means we should probably do the steel beams first. So those are made in a metal mixing furnace. Here. Uh, can I add those on to... No, I don't. I can't. 
Can I... What's my carting charcoal off to? Nowhere. Well, elsewhere, but nowhere else that I wanted to go. Let's go with uh, this idea. Uh, steel beams are iron, charcoal, and crushed boronite. So we'll go with... Uh, charcoal here on the side. And then... Iron and crushed boronite. One one on the output. Forgot about this. The conveyor belt goes here. One one goes here then, and here, and then a two one goes here and here. Uh, iron ingots go here. Charcoal. Oh boy. Goes here. And then Bornite, right? Bornite. Which Bornite is not that one. It's this one. Goes here. I think we're going to leave this here, actually. So, in the next one, we'll finish up this island, and then we'll see what else there might be. Thank you all for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.